Yeah. You know that when I was coming, like I never really been to South Africa, but I have friends like okay. I, mean, I, I had hope so. I was expecting to see girls with tattoos. Like, people told me shit. Crazy shit. Like I hate it. South this? Africa. You know what I mean? Can you imagine you know, this one's where they both I got to say, I'm children. What's going on? I told you this. I said, yeah, I just like. Like my hair is I don't say wild, crazy, blonde girls. I want to say that. My God. You know what? <laughs> I give up. <laughs> I know it's only day four of the show, but I give up. Like, guys, I've had it up to here. I mean, these girls are stressing me out. They're stressing me out. I mean, guys, I know that this is a competition, right? It is a game of mental war, you know, psychological game. I understand that. And I know that these housemates should be dishing out drama, violence, you know, such a kind of violence, entertainment, content. I get it. I get all of that. But I feel strongly that these ladies, Olivia, Yvonne, Jenny Yo, and even Nana, I feel like they are completely also missing out the other um, theme of this show, of Big Brother Titan. I understand it's a competition, $100,000 is at stake to be won, the bragging rights, the title of winner. I get it, I get all of that. But I feel like these people are also forgetting the fact that this is a social experiment. This is a collaborative show. Yes, this concept. It's a collaboration between South Africans and Nigerians. We want to see, you know, the, the blending of cultural experiences. And I get it. They are probably experiencing culture shock at the moment. But, oh my God, they are overdoing it. They are overdoing it. And it is frustrating. It is annoying. Ah! I mean, as the day goes by, these ladies have one thing or the other to complain about their fellow housemates. And the most frustrating part is they are not, they are not innocent in this. It's not like they're actually making an effort to change the situation. It's not like they're doing anything different to make things different. No, they're not doing anything. They're just sitting down there making it look like or maybe feeling like, oh, because they are Nigerian babes, they are better than the other ones who, of course, are from South Africa. Oh my God, guys, it's, it's annoying. But you know what? We're gonna get into this video. Yeah, we're gonna get into this video. I'm gonna tell you all the reason I am particularly pissed at these ladies, yes? And then I would love to know your own thoughts about it because, hey, I, I have tried to make one million and one excuses for these girls, but it's not just working. So we're gonna get into it and I'll spill. And then please, I would love to, to hear your thoughts as well in the comment section, yeah? But before we get into it, hi, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Glory Elijah. This is Franklin Speaking with Glory and I am the girl with the T. Yes, the T of this video is all about another bout of gossip session yes and dragging and bashing of uh, fellow housemates by fellow housemates as well on big brother titans and ladies and gentlemen i'm not finding it funny anymore so we're going to get into it if you're new on here thank you so much for choosing to um subscribe to this channel to join this community um if you are a returning viewer or a returning subscriber thank you so much for choosing to click on this video to watch um but if you are not in any of those categories please do not hesitate to do exactly what you see on your screen that is one of the easiest and fastest ways for you to receive a lot of my videos whenever i upload a new one now ladies and gentlemen without wasting much of your time let's just quickly get into this video because i'm burning <laughs> we had a youtube live stream last night and we we discussed this issue that's currently happening in the house you know the issue of um these four young women whom i have decided not to tag by their nationality but by just who they are because that's the personality they've been displaying from the night of the launch show yeah so we, we discussed the issue of them not allowing themselves to interact with other housemates to blend with other housemates and so they have um, gone ahead to create this clique this cackles this gang of their own comprising of strictly only nigerian girls now in the conversation we had last night um, during the live stream i was saying that no i do not think it is a nigerian girl problem because hey i am nigerian right and when i go somewhere i try as much as possible to interact with people to blend with people and i understand that human beings are different right people um blend at their own pace yes but one would expect that these housemates are aware already 
that this is a reality tv show this is a social experiment um this is a competition of course yes and most importantly this is a collaboration between two different african countries and so they should have prepared their minds for what to expect that hey we're gonna be meeting different people right we're gonna be meeting people from different walks of life different backgrounds and so we should try to blend you know to make ourselves comfortable in the process and to also play our game well and this just might be their game guys who knows i don't know but then i just feel like they've successfully in four days now secluded themselves they caused this separation right this division between themselves and some of the south african housemates and guys i just feel like no it does not really make sense because it's creating a bad impression of the of the bulk of the general nigerian female population because that is not how we behave that is not how we behave and where am i referencing the conversation we had last night during our live stream yeah from that conversation we agreed that no, this is not a national thing. This is not a thing that Nigerian women do. No, this is an individual thing. These ladies, they are doing these things by themselves, by their own volition. And is it right? Hell no. Hell no. And as I said at the start of this video, I get it. It's a, it's a game, right? What they're doing, they are probably just playing a game. They're probably just trying to create content for us, the viewers. And to be very honest, I am enjoying their gossip sessions. I enjoy all the banters that goes with it. Why am I upset? It is because of the derogatory statements, the derogatory way these ladies described or have been describing, you know, the South African female housemates. I just feel like it's not fair. I feel like it's just complete bad behavior, arrogance at the highest level. So they were in the garden, they were having conversations and then they were complaining that, oh, they were bored, that, oh, they are not even seeing the drama. In fact, this conversation even started last night between Olivia and Yvonne, yes. Um, last night they were complaining that, oh, eh, they were actually expecting much from the show, that the, the show is not giving Big Brother vibes. They were actually expecting highlights. And I'm thinking, okay, you are expecting highlights. What happens to you creating the highlights for us, the viewers? Are you not a housemate? Are you not here to compete for $100,000? Are you here to come and show us your fine face? Huh? Are you, is it not your responsibility to create content, to create the highlights that you're talking about? Fast forward to this morning, they escalated the conversation again. And of course, as usual, Genio will always be there. Nana now is now the newest parrot in the group, a mouth prattling on. Blah, 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 blah. So they were complaining. And then Yvonne went ahead to make statements like, oh, that she had heard that, oh, South African girls, they are fine, they are this, they are that. Oh, she was expecting crazy South African girls, girls with tattoos, girls with banging bodies, blah, 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 that what is all this? Like, I was expecting to see girls with tattoos, people told me she crazy shit. Like, I hate it. Like, you know, girl, you know, you know, you know, this one's where they put for children. She was actually referring to the South African female housemates as look at what they saw in other words oh they were actually expecting crazier girls and now look at the bunch of the type of south african girls that the organizer selected to participate on the show hey come on yvonne that was disgusting very very disgusting i mean guys i listened to yvonne ranting about that i'm like ah. so in yvonne's mind now She's the most beautiful in the house. In Yvonne's mind now, she is, um, she, she is a suitable character to participate on a show like Big Brother Titans. Like, what are these girls thinking? And then Olivia too, that one would not keep quiet. That one too was like, oh yeah, that she had those African girls. They have bigger ass, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, okay. So what you're seeing in the house is not enough. These ladies now, they have gone beyond criticizing and bad-mouthing the South African dishes that have been prepared in the house to now criticizing the individuals themselves. And guys, this is really pissing me off. Yes, this is really pissing me off because here we are on the outside. We are avoiding these kind of conversations from happening. But then <laughs> the housemates inside the house, they are making it happen. I mean, guys, it's not like I wasn't expecting such a conversation to happen, you know, one way or the other on the show. But, oh my God, this is, this is too much. So I was just really disgusted. Like, come on, you girls think you are the prettiest in the house. You think you're the most beautiful in the house. I mean, your, your, your behavior already so far, it stinks. Maybe it's for content. Maybe it's for the show. Maybe it's for the game, but 
you're not better. And then later on, Big Brother had instructed the housemates to go back into the house. And then that was when Yaya felt like, okay, she needed to have a conversation with these girls because she probably felt like they've been isolating themselves from the rest of the house, right? Because every time she turns around, they are in their own clique, they are in their own gang, um, except for Yvonne that from time to time, you know, flirts around with um, Juicy J because of course they're about to get into a, a serious relationship in the house, right? So Yaya, approach them you know and then she was telling them that oh you especially olivia you're not really mingling you're not blending you know and she was saying that from a good place yeah, seriously, like, anyone else could be going home this week you know and it would be such a shame if like we left you out you know, yeah. guys you need to have seen the look of disdain on olivia's face i mean she couldn't even hide her disgust of yaya <laughs> and it was so embarrassing it just felt as though she does not even like yaya at all and that did not stop there <laughs> jenny o who was laying behind of and the girls on the bed she was already like oh she's not going to make any effort for her People should be able to walk up to her and talk to her. I'm like, Jenny, who the hell are you again? I mean, guys, you know, we said it yesterday during our live stream that this girl is giving off bully vibes. She's giving off the alpha female vibe. So come on, alpha female should also have emotional intelligence. But that is not at work here. The one that now pissed me off the most was when Nana started speaking. Even Tati, Tati doesn't give that conversation. She only compliments. Mm -hmm. yeah, but when yeah, somebody yeah. like yeah, trying to give that so cool. like conversation vibes, you know, want to come mm -hmm. like all you guys are talking to me, all this other guy are talking to me. They're giving that conversation vibes. That's what we're talking. Oh my god. And that was just embarrassing me to the fullest. What was her point? She was going on and on about, oh, eh, and eh, she noticed that, um, what's her name now? Sassy, for instance, would always throw compliments at her. But then Sassy does not make it look like she wants to have a conversation. And I'm like, okay, fine. I don't want to, I don't want to be too harsh on Nana because anybody that is exposed knows that when people give you compliments, they are opening room for conversation. That is a conversational cue. It's like you go to a social gathering, right? If you stand on your own and nobody talks to you, then it means nobody wants to talk to you. But if someone approaches you and gives you a compliment, maybe about your looks, about your hair, maybe about something about you, it means they are opening the floor for a freaking conversation. So I was looking at Nana and the first thing that came to my mind that, okay, fine, she's probably not really exposed. And when we talk about exposure, exposure is not something you only learn in universities. So this is not me referencing the fact that, oh, she's a dropout of college. No, exposure requires a lot. You mingle with people, you go out there, you're sociable. You don't even have to be an extrovert to be exposed. You can find exposure by ex expressing keen interest, genuine keen interest in learning people's cultures, people's way of lives, people's lifestyles, you know, gathering information. You can learn exposure that way. But I was listening to Nana speak and I'm like, wow, obviously this girl is not, is not exposed. And Nana is not the only person that sounds like she's not exposed. All of them, even the Jenny O <laughs> that was raised in the US, I'm sorry to say, but she does not really sound exposed as well with the way she was explaining oh, why she, she, it's justified that she's not going to go ahead and blend with people. They have to come to, I'm not like, if you feel like they are not coming to you, they, they've given you cues, they've given you the clues that, hey, we want to talk to you, we want to advance, but you are not making yourself approachable. You're not looking friendly. Your face is looking like, hey, I don't care. It was so appalling to hear Olivia, you know, proudly explain to um yvonne last night that oh that aban she does not like his attitude she does not like his personality that anytime he wants to talk to her she just looks away that she does not even like the guy and i'm like you just met this person it's not even up to a week and already you've concluded that you don't like the person for no reason you've not had a conversation with the person ah <laughs> oh my days my gender will not kill me. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna put this disclaimer out there again that listen, I am aware that this is a competition. I am aware that this might just be a strategy that these ladies are employing to create content, you know, to create controversy, to trend, right? Because at the end of the day, um, the show, in as much as it is what it is, 
it's also a popularity contest, right? So they are sure doing a great job at trending. But the question is, are they trending in the right direction? Are they trending so that people would like them? Or are they trending to win the show? The way they are going about it, is it the right way? Will it be in their favor on the long run? I mean, for me, I just feel like I'm just doing it the wrong way. Yes. And I also understand that they are kind of still experiencing culture shock. But does culture shock push you to talk down on, to downgrade, you know, another person's physical looks or another person's um, cultural values? Hell no. I think culture shock should push you into curiosity. Culture shock, when you experience it, it should push you into genuine curiosity about that thing that actually shocked you about a certain people. You want to learn about them. It should push you into learning, into gathering more knowledge and even trying to understand them and using it to your advantage to survive in that climb. But sadly, these girls, they are not doing that. And it's very annoying. So ladies and gentlemen, this is where I'm going to stop talking. I want to know what you think about all of these drama that these girls are causing already for themselves in the house. Because guess what? They're actually causing the drama for themselves. Because people that they are upset with, those ones don't even send them. When those ones see them, they give them compliments. They greet them. Yes. So I would love to know your thoughts in the comment section below. Please go ahead and share. And I'll see you guys on another episode of Frankly Speaking with Gloria Elijah. Have an amazing, amazing day. Bye.